Terrific guys, uh, great you have tuned in. Today I'm going to do another PMR radio review because uh, I think it's about maybe two months already since I did a Radio Oddity radio review and today I have the brand new uh, two-way radio Radio Oddity T1 and that's what we're going to test. Uh, as you know from my other videos, so you, I always have this uh, navigation below in the video, which you can use in all of my videos to watch the part that interests you the most in case you are in a hurry. And what I'm usually doing, and you're watching right now the introductory part in part two, we're going to do a quick unboxing, look inside the box, see what's in that package, because that's also usually varying depending on which radio you buy and from which manufacturer. Some radios, they don't in include batteries. Some, they do include batteries. Some have a docking station, a charger. Uh, some use USB docking stations. Other have a separate power supply. So some have uh, some other accessories. So you can discover really about most radios, uh, what they include and how they look and what range they get. And that's why I'm gonna quickly show you here my channel page. If you go there, you can look at the two-way radio playlist and find a bunch of different radio reviews, not only from Radio Oddity, but from a bunch of manufacturers. So that should help you make a purchasing decision or in general, generally le learn more about uh, two-way radios. Guys, with that out of the way, why don't we just get rolling with the range test? And uh, I think a viewer also, uh, I don't think I know, a viewer asked me also go a little bit further. I think my first videos that I did when I started out making these two-way radio reviews, the range was a little bit short, but I extended the since. And I also remind people, uh, look here at the side card. If you're in Europe, please only use the PMR 446. And if you're in the United States, use the FRS. So don't confuse that. Don't buy something off of eBay, import it from another country into your country. The radios usually have a certain set frequency range that's determined by your government. So you don't want to run around with a radio that's not specifically made for your country. So guys, with that out of the way, we're not going to do the range test. We're going to do the unboxing next, next the unboxing. So guys, let's get rolling. Very good. Then let's have a closer look at the Radiality T1 two-way radios. I put them here on my desk for you. Uh, let me zoom in for you so that you can see a little bit of a close-up shot. I have here this handy overhead camera. Very nice setup to do these product reviews. So you get two radios, uh, two headsets, the manual. Uh, like I told you a second ago, for Europe, there's the PMR. And if you are overseas, you see there's the FRS. So if you're in the States, make sure to get the FRS. That should give, give you a higher output power. That's my estimation. And uh, yeah, you have two radios right here. Let's take them out. USB cable and a charger. So that's also something I noticed. Not every company necessarily includes a, a power adapter. Sometimes you only have the charging cradle, the charging dock with the USB cable. Here the power uh, adapter is included, which is very nice. Here a close-up shot for you to, so that you can see the build quality. Let me take, quickly take this foil off right here. So it should be very easy to control, plus up and down channel selector. I guess that's a volume selector. You have a flashlight function, which is kind of nice. Obviously, we're going to put in the battery and charge them up first before we use them. And you always see these flashy lanyards. So you can, if you use the lanyard, you kind of stand out. You can appear important by running around with these radios. Kind of funny. So battery wise, quickly have to flip this around 1500 milliamp hours. So we're going to quickly put this in and you see it's not completely straight. So I think that should uh, have a nicer grip in the hand. Obviously it's not a rubber -like, rubberized inlet, but it feels nice uh, in the hand. Also the radius, they aren't that small. So for my hands, exactly the perfect size. And then antenna wise, I mean, I know from experience, some of the radios that I tested, if the antennas are a little bit longer, uh, they seem to have a better range. Obviously that's not always the case. Sometimes the antenna looks long, but internally it's a little bit shorter. It's uh, just a physical thing. You have to cut the antenna to the right size so that it's exactly tuned to the frequency so that you get the best performance. So I'm really curious to see what range I'm gonna get with these two-way radios. Let's quickly uh, hop over to my charging bench and charge these radios right up. I'm quickly gonna zoom out a little bit here. I'm doing this with one hand. So that's the unboxing. I don't wanna draw this out too long. Belt clip we still have here. You could also obviously put that on. Uh, feels very nice. 
Uh, yeah, it's a plastic belt clip, so that's uh, to see how much stress you're putting on it. But for the occasional user, if you don't use it commercially day in, day, day out, putting a lot of stress on here, that should work pretty fine. Uh, right now, I jumped over to my charging bench, as you can see here. And uh, let me quickly charge up those radiology radios. As you can see, they are connected via USB here at the side. So I'm gonna plug in the included power supply and then switch on the power and you see some red light comes on. I could imagine maybe it turns green after the charging is complete. I don't see a charging project indicator here, so let me quickly turn this on. Welcome. Well. And it welcomes you. And you see the charging progress up here. And that's also a little bit, I think almost more professional. Some radios have it, but I say maybe 80 to 90% don't have it. You see the frequency here. So you flip to the channel, it says it, it, it displays it here in the side and it says it acoustically and you see the frequency itself. So that's kind of cool. I like that personally. Uh, why don't I just have this charged up? Obviously you want to give it a good charge before using it the first time. And then I'm gonna also read a little bit in the menu. Sometimes viewers ask me, oh, I have a set of radios already, but it's a different model from the same manufacturer or a different model from another manufacturer, can I use, are these radios interoperable? And yes, as long as it's a FRS or as long as it's a PMR446, the radios work with each other. Just in some cases, maybe you have switched on, I think in Motorola calls it the, digit, the privacy tones, but basically it's just this digital coded squash and stuff. So you want to look into your man, if the radios, if you put them on the same frequency and uh, you transmit and the other radio doesn't react or open up, you want to make sure that you disable these privacy tones, uh, the digital, the, the coded squelch. So that's the only thing, but otherwise this works great. I can make a video on that actually as well. So let's charge these up. I'll look in the manual and we can right now jump to the range test. So guys, that's point number one from these radiology, radiology European PMR radios. That's point number one, 420 feet. Should be loud and clear, no problem. Let's see how far I can get. Uh, that's point number one, 420 feet. So guys, the range test point number two of these radiology radios. So far, I like them from the unboxing. Seems to be a nice build quality. Test point number two is 790 feet, 790 feet uh, from my experience. They sound pretty good here. 790 feet, test point number two. And yeah, it's a really awesome weather today, guys. Test point number three, test point number three. I am enjoying this to be outside here testing these radios for you. Uh, 1,250 feet, 1,250 feet at test point number three. Sounds, uh, should sound awesome, guys. Uh, I'm really liking this so far, test point number three. And again guys, range test, range test, and uh, yeah, the range test point, uh, it's not very uh, spread out, but test point number four, 1,540 feet, 1,540 feet, should give you a fine grain uh, listening test to this radio on my usual route. Test point number four, 1,540 feet, usually sounds also pretty good with the radio ideas. And again, range test, range test, uh, slowly the distance is increasing, guys, keep in mind those are PMR radios. If you're in the US, you can benefit from the FRS with the high output power. Test point number five with 2,000 feet uh, should sound pretty good. Uh, I had once radios that were not that good at that range, they were a little bit on, on the cheap side, but the, the radiology usually performed pretty well. Test point number five, 2,000 feet. And range test, range test, this time at test point number six with 2,300 feet, 2,300 feet. And yeah, I'm curious how the results sound. I still haven't checked it out yet, so I'm gonna see that when I come back home. Test point number six with 2,300 feet, the radio on the TV about radio. And guys, I had to skip one range test point. I skipped range test point number seven because I always walk by the embassy. I think that's a complete blue. Uh, so right now we're at test point number eight. Test point number eight with 3,200 feet or 0 0.6 miles. And uh, yeah, uh, you will still hear how this sounds. Test point number eight. 
So guys, uh, next range test point, I reached the next range test point and there's uh, uh, quite a little bit of a breeze coming up here. So maybe you see how the microphone reacts to the wind. Uh, sometimes the radio is a little more sensitive to it, sometimes not. Test point number 9 was 3,900 feet. 3,900 feet was 0 0.75 miles and really a terrific weather today, test point number 9. Guys, range test point, range test point number 10 of these radiology radios. Really terrific weather outside. Uh, really a very, very enjoyable test point number 10 with 4,900 feet or 0 0.9 miles, so almost a mile. Uh, the camera shuts off in maybe four or five minutes, so I have to hurry. Maybe I can reach test point 11 as well. So almost a mile, test point number 10. Not bad for tiny little PMR radios from Europe. Guys, I had to rush it a little, little bit. Uh, the camera shut off very in any second. Test point 11, test point 11 with approximately 1.15 miles. If you still hear that, that's pretty good. Uh, this is the test of the radio, RTV radio. Very nice. This concludes the test of the Radiality T1 two way radios. And as you have seen in the part three, the range test over the entire distance. The radios performed reasonably well. Obviously, I had some radios in the past that performed slightly better, but the radiality are pretty close. And as always, keep in mind, I'm testing the PMR version. The, those only have 0.5 watts and are for Europe. So if you're in the US, you can use the FRS. And it is my understanding that the FRS version will give you four times the output power. At least that's what the government in the US allows. So I can show this to you here in the sidecar once more. Please always make sure you use the appropriate radio from your country. Don't import something from overseas that's not meant for your country. Then it's uh, definitely not license free and you might risk transmitting on the wrong frequencies. But that aside, uh, the PMR radios perform good for close range communications. And also take the range test with a little bit of a grain of salt because obviously if you're in a dense urban environment, the range will always be shorter than if you're somewhere in the countryside or have open pastures but uh, I mentioned that in a bunch of my other videos before, so I don't want to be too repetitive. In any case, a lot, of view, a lot of my viewers like to compare different radios, so you can also, like them, head over to my channel page and look in the two-way radio playlist, because there I have compared different radios from different manufacturers, let's say radios that are waterproof, or maybe if you're a hunter, or uh, maybe something for commercial use, or maybe a digital radio. So there are a variety of tests there for you that you can get or learn a little bit more about radios in general and make a good purchase decision. Guys, awesome for having tuned in. I think a plus for these radios is A, that they have like this uh, backlit display. As well, you have this uh, charger included with a Y split cable. That's also something I noticed. Uh, sometimes the radios, they might just uh, include no batteries or they have a docking station, but no power supply. Oh, these I think are great for the occasional user because you have the power supply. Obviously you will have to charge them via this USB port. So there are no contacts at the back. So for the occasional user, that's probably great. But let's say you want to use them on a day-to-day -day basis for your business or on a con on construction site, something like this then I would think something with a docking station would personally be my preference because a docking station, you can always put it in and take it out the next morning. But then again, not everybody uses the radios on a daily basis. Some people might just want to use them if they go out fishing or hiking or something like this. So that has given you a good understanding of what ty different types of radios there are. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber if you want. And in the next uh, video, all the best to you. Take care. And because you just watched the Radiality T1 review of these uh, very interesting radios that I just did for you, you may also be interested uh, maybe in some waterproof models for which I have on my channel page also a bunch of different radios that I tested in the two-way radio section that you can find there. A lot of people like to compare there. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe right now as well as have many people already done so before you. And I see you in the next video. Take care.